Thanks, Pikes Peak welcomes visitors year-round, and that means the big job of keeping snow cleared from the top to the bottom. With our recent string of crews, with our recent string of storms, rather, crews are busy. Bill Folsom went up to Pikes Peak to see what they are facing up there. He is back and in studio for us, Bill. Yeah, and I need to move out of the way. Whoa. Here's some me video to give <laughs> you some perspective of what's going on up there. The plows have cut away at that drift. It is uh, me, six feet. That's about seven, eight feet up there. They plow after snowstorms and almost every other day during the winter, but that's because of wind. Chains and a lot of power needed to clear snow from the road to the top of Pikes Peak. This day's job, it's average. There are days when much larger equipment is necessary. Occasionally you'll have to plow vertically just to bring it down, uh, either with the motor grader going on a vertical, or sometimes we have to bring the front end loader or the backhoe and actually peel it down. Winter trips up the highway account for close to 30% of yearly visitors. So many people, it's worth the cost of keeping roads clear. A little or a lot of snow. Wind piles it up at known spots like the switchbacks. Because what we find is even a couple inches of snow up here can turn into five to seven foot drifts. Walls of snow on the way up and down make for a unique experience. Traditionally, the wind keeps piling it even higher until spring. A job in the range of 14,000 feet requires working hard when you can, and some days, knowing you're facing a competitor way out of your league. Yeah, nature wins all the time. And going to the top of Pikes Peak, that is never a guarantee in the wintertime. Rangers always make a determination how far up is safe. Sometimes that is partway. On good days, it is all the way to the summit. Rob? Bill, thanks.